Hey, I don't know about you, but this has happened to me on more than one occasion, and this is another reason why I think it's important to embrace the option of increasing your ISO, and in the digital age, no worries about increasing your noise. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I'm the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. I'm here in this wonderful meadow in Petaluma, California. As you can clearly see, a pretty large spider web. The morning sun has come up and eliminated the once early morning frost and changed that into dew. And here's the problem. There's a little bit of breeze going on right now. I love macro photography, and in terms of that, I also love the super, super sharpness of a low ISO. This is old thinking, however, back to the days of film. Despite that, I still approach the subject with the idea of low ISO, great color, great contrast. So take a look at this though. I'm at F22. Again, macro depth of field is such an important part of the composition in terms of overall sharpness. That's why I'm at 22. But at 22, the problem is I'm at an eighth of a second with the ISO at 50. In the case of the Nikon D800, that's L1.0. So mirror lockup is in place. There's click number one. A little bit of breeze right here, and I gotta try to time it just perfectly. I don't think I did. As a result, take a look at that photograph and notice there's a little bit of softness there. That's the vibration, a little bit of vibration from the wind that's hitting this web. So what do I do? I'm going to actually increase my ISO all the way up to 1600 and now that gives me F22 at a 200th of a second. Mirror lockup, there's the click, let's wait, and no wind, right there. Take a look at those two images side by side. Yes, one is at 1600, the other 50. A very slight, hardly noticeable increase in noise, but definitely I don't have the problem that a eighth of a second gave me in terms of the vibration. It's super sharp all the way through at the 200th of a second exposure. Another example of increasing your ISO and not to worry about the noise and still walk away with the shot of the morning. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson reminding all of you to not only exercise the opportunity to increase your ISO at will, but also, you keep shooting.